hey guys welcome back to my channel so today I thought I'd go through and kind of show you my planner and just do my meal plan for the week um, so before we jump into this if you are new here then welcome don't forget to subscribe down below before you leave and if you like this kind of video make sure to give it a thumbs up that way I know to keep making this type of material for you guys so first I just want to say this is I ordered this planner it's just called um, it's the Happy Planner. It's from Amazon. Um, I think it's just a Happy Planner brand, but I ordered it off of Amazon. It was a kit. It was a whole kit. It came with the planner, um, this pen, these sticker books, and then it also came with like a little magnet. Um, and then it also came with these little bitty like sticky notes for reminders. Um, I don't know where the magnet is. I honestly think my cat got a hold of it. So there's like no telling where the magnet's at. But it's just like a little clip magnet. So you can like clip your pages together. So you can turn to the exact page that you need. Um, so I just ordered this planner for this month. Um, so it finally got here. So I started labeling mine in March. And then April, May, June. So when you first open it it just says hello this happy planner belongs to and you just like write your name and it says plan a happy life and i love it because it's very like colorful and floral and it really just brings positive vibes so then this next page is kind of like the currently this month i didn't really fill any of this out yet um just because I haven't really got a chance to. So I kind of just write everything down. So when you flip it to this March date, this is kind of what the planner looks like in the beginning. Um, so over here, it, and everything's stickers. So like, if you can see like, these are stickers that you take off and put on. The little March sign is a sticker. This is a sticker. So everything's like sticker, you do it yourself. But honestly, if you look like past, like April, I ended up just writing all the dates in there because if you pay attention to like the corner here, so I don't know if you guys can see kind of how like, I don't know why it's not really focusing, but like the corner here is kind of like ripped off. These little bitty stickers are so hard to get like, you can tell some of them are pretty crooked. It's just so hard to like, peel them off of these little like areas you can see where some of the stickers are still stuck on and I just had a really hard time so I ended up just writing them on there for the following months because it wasn't that big of a deal I can use those stickers for something else like birthdays or something so just to kind of give a little layout over here in this notes area I basically just write out all the videos that I plan to film this month um, and then after I've gotten them done I just check them off um, and then I kind of just threw this on there. So I kind of just write everything that I have to do for the month in this layout because I like this layout better than the weekly layout. So hope it just it gives me an overview of the whole month and makes sure that I don't forget anything. So I post or I write in here when I want to post my videos, um, my orthodontist appointments, uh, me and my bridesmaids are getting together to go dress shopping this weekend. Um, and then this weekend we went to Virginia, um, my sister's birthday. So everything that I have to do, I just kind of write out. And then when you flip to these dates, this is where I kind of do my meal planning. So starting this week, I'm just going to go ahead and flip to this week. So excuse like the mess ups because <laughs> it confused me i didn't pay attention up here these months back here on the actual planner start sunday through saturday so they start sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday but this layout after that starts monday and runs through sunday down here on the end and i didn't really pay attention so when i started writing my calendar I wrote it out as this was Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So I had to go through and just kind of scratch it out, which is not a big deal. I only did it for this month, so I'll remember it for the next month. So on the meal plan for the next two weeks, because we are trying to budget and not spend any more money than we have to, um, I'm counting down to the penny for our budget. So for Monday the 19th, we're having pork chops, mac and cheese, and green bean casserole. Tuesday is going to be Taco Tuesday. We're actually doing a Dorito um, taco salad. Wednesday, we're going out to dinner with one of my friends. Um, she's coming in town. She lives in Georgia, so she's coming up to North Carolina for work. So we're going to get together with her. I haven't seen her in like six years, so I'm excited about that. 
Thursday, every Thursday is my late night at work, so I don't get home until like six or later. Um, so Michael always, I just kind of always throw something easy peasy on Thursday nights for him. So this Thursday he'll be making hot dogs with french fries or tater tots. Um, just something quick him and Logan can make really quick and eat and then I can just kind of heat back up once I get home or I can make mine when I get home. Um, Friday we're going to be having ham and cheese sliders. I found this recipe on Pinterest and I'm so excited to try it because it looks so good. So we'll probably just have that with like some chips or something because it's Friday night. Usually on the weekends we do a lot of snacking which is another reason why this Saturday, um, the 24th, we're having buffalo chicken stuffed French bread. This is another recipe that I found on Pinterest and Michael is just dying to have it. So we're going to be making that on Saturday. Of course, Logan doesn't eat stuff like this. Any kind of like buffalo or, you know, something with a little bit of spice, he's not going to eat. So we'll probably just make him like some chicken nuggets or pizza rolls or something like that. And then Sunday, um, it's calling for snow this weekend in my area. So I'm going to be making some chicken and dumplings just because I love chicken and dumplings and it kind of gives me a reason to make it if it's going to be really cold outside. And then for the following week, next week, starting Monday, we're going to be having chicken with broccoli stir fry in a teriyaki. I kind of buy, Food Lion has a stir fry sauce and a teriyaki marinade, and I kind of mix them together, and it tastes so good. So we're having that just with some rice. Um, Tuesday is spaghetti, salad, and garlic bread. Wednesday is going to be ham. We make our ham with pineapple and brown sugar. I think I've said that a few times on my channel, but y'all, it is so good. Like, you guys have to try this. And then we'll just have some sort of veggies and pasta with that. Thursday, again, my late night at work, so we're going to just have some frozen pizzas they'll throw in the oven. Friday, we're going to be having some smoked kielbasa sausages, and I'll probably just make some rice and peas with that. Um, because Logan doesn't really like rice that much, but he'll eat peas and smoke sausages. So I always try to make something that I know that he'll like. And then Saturday, we're going to be just having leftovers. If there is any, otherwise we'll be snacking. Um, usually on the weekends, we kind of keep it kind of chill and relaxed. We don't do like a whole lot of cooking. Um, we kind of just spend time together as a family. And plus this weekend, this is the day that I'll be going with my bridesmaids. So I'll eat out for lunch this day. So usually on like Saturdays, we just snack all day. When you're hungry, we'll make something, just something quick. And then starting this Sunday is April 1st. It'll be a new week. So I will plan that out um, in my next meal plan. So this is just an overview of the Happy Planner. And now these aren't like normal rings. They kind of like pull out and then you can just like snap them back into place and they're back to normal. So I've really enjoyed having this Happy Planner. It's just kind of helped me feel like my life is just a little bit more on track. They do come in like different styles and um, things like that, different color patterns. So I'll leave a link down below in the description bar so you guys can kind of go through and, you know, purchase your own happy planner if you're interested. But it really has just been such a great help to keep everything organized. That is all for my meal plan. So if you guys um, like this video, again, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.